When we walked into the student section at Waterford Kettering tonight, we asked how many people were expected to show up for the Leo's Coney Island Game of the Week. The kids told me, all of Waterford. And they weren't kidding. Kettering hosting Mott. First quarter, Dave McCollum hooking up with Tariq Hardy. And he does the rest. Mott goes up 6-0, building the lead in the second half. 20-7, but Kettering putting together a nice little comeback. Anthony Fox catches it. Go run, big man. All of a sudden, he heaves it through, and it's a one-score game, 20-13. Mott had a wild fourth, though. It's McCollum again to Matt Bradley. Nice last name. 23-yard score. Mott didn't stop there. 43-20, turning it into a blowout. You know, we just try to go out and have fun and play really fast and, and just have fun and get the ball in our players' hands as easy as possible. It was amazing having all Waterford come together. Put, put the, uh, everyone gets their votes in and just seeing everyone out here in Waterford and play a good football game is really nice. It was beautiful. Yeah, and the vote for the game of the week was so close, Casey. We wanted to show the runner-up some love. Yeah, that's right. When the voting closed at midnight, just 53 votes separated the game of the week and our runner-up, Lance Cruz hosting Lance Cruz North. So let's show you this one. First half was all Crusaders. Blake Daniels finds Nathaniel Webb there for the score. Then here looks like maybe he's keeping it. Nope, Daniel fires it so fast the cameraman can't keep up. Yeah, I'm talking about myself. Brendan Orlovsky with the big catch in the end zone. North up 14 zip. Then Miles McCanley gets the call. That touchdown puts the Crusaders up 21 0. They go on to win it 35 to 6. Gross Point South hosting Gross Point North this evening. Third quarter of this one, South down three when Jermaine Young gets the ball and breaks his way into the end zone. Blue Devils take the lead. But with time running out in the fourth, the Norsemen kick a field goal to tie it up and we need overtime in OT. They trade field goals before Sheldon Cage muscles his way across the plane there. That touchdown is for the game. North wins it 26 23 and double OT. Barely made it back to the studio in time from that one, Brad. Nice work, Casey. We got our sports intern here on Coach Harrington's uh, march towards the record for all-time wins at Harrison. Groves at Harrison, triple overtime. Groves scores, goes for two, yeah. and gets it. Beats Harrison 32-31. All right, you get dinner tonight. Thanks so much, intern. Chris Illich and his family's future <laughs> with the Tigers. An answer from the owner's mouth coming up next.